hold for advanced track off. Fun mode activated. This is a gloriously, gloriously ridiculous machine. The Ford Raptor is a fun truck, but hardcore critics of it have said, ah, there's no more V8. They're not wrong. That twin turbo 3.5 liter EcoBoost is fun, makes good power, but then Ram comes out and says, Urgh, slaps something on the table. This is the TRX 702 horsepower, blah, blah, blah. So Ford just quietly goes, just give us a second. And then they take their 5.2 liter V8 engine from the GT500, the one with the supercharger on top, and go, I can bolt into this truck, right? And they go, yup. So now Ford does have an answer to the TRX, and it is this, the Ford Raptor R. The Raptor 700 horsepower, 640 pound-feet of torque, tremendous suspension travel, over 13 inches of ground clearance, 37-inch tires sitting around, beadlock-capable wheels, crazy suspension, nice interior, brutish exhaust note, and a price tag that will make you cry even without a dealer markup. Though I will say, kind of makes sense for what you're getting here. So how's that the case? Well, like I said, 700 horsepower, go anywhere ability, still surprisingly good on the road, very comfortable inside, nice sound system, nice screen, all the good stuff. So it is super nice in here. Excuse me while I drive through this mud puddle. It is super nice in here. And you can literally go anywhere in this truck. It is a blast. I'm, California's been hit with a lot of rain recently, as I'm sure you've heard, or if you haven't, it has. And this road I'm driving on is normally much smoother, but it's all pockmarked and rutted and worse than ever. And for the Raptor R, it's like, ha, 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 ha. This is, okay, great. Nice little warm up. When do we get to the hard stuff? I can't get to the hard stuff because the hard stuff's all closed since everything's beat up, but I've done water crossings in this. I've just tossed it at potholes just to see what it'll do. And I'm comfortable in here. I'm happy in here. The truck stays composed over all this ridiculousness. And then I'm barely breathing on the throttle because like I said, 700 horsepower and all that glorious torque and that wonderful Fox live valve suspension system. And you just take this thing to the mud, to the dirt, to have fun. Because that's what it's all about with this monster machine. And I love it. So we got a water crossing here. I'm gonna turn the camera around for this one. At one point this was too heavy to go through, but today I'm gonna just turn the wipers on so get ahead of it. Ready? Here we go. Nothing, nothing. Easy peasy, lemon squeeze. Let's get the wipers off. A little bit more mud. This thing's a joke. I, I, I haven't even gotten into the driving mode yet. Let me put this camera back in where it's supposed to be. Hold on. This is great um, skill at video making here, just by the way. Turn that around. Make you there ish. That's good. It's still going. Okay. Oh, 30%. We're doing fine. Okay. So, I have it in two-wheel drive. I have traction control off because that's the most fun shenanigan mode. This does have Baja mode, which then forces it into four-wheel drive, but you can just hit the two-wheel drive button to put it back into two-wheel drive. There's four high, there's four auto, and there's four low, you know, real transfer case, still real deal, off-road capable vehicle. Um, <clears throat> there's a sport mode. Then the mode I like, there's a button on the steering wheel with an R. I hit that twice and it puts it into R mode, which I've already set up. And, oh my God, that was a big one. Um, so let's see, I have st engine and steering in sport, suspension in off-road or Baja, and I have the exhaust in Baja. Ford says that the most aggressive mode is Baja mode, and it's like, it's ready, all the turbos are spooled up, it's ready to go. I feel like it's more responsive in sport mode. Um, damn, that was a big one. This road's been destroyed. Um, I feel like it's more responsive in sport mode. Personally, that could be the transmission tuning though. But I will say on the road, there's a compromise where that sport mode, it has this 
sometimes you're just cruising along and there's a really like clunky one, two or two, three shift and it's not comfortable. It actually feels bad. And it's part of this, the reasons why I can't fully enjoy this gearbox. You can't have, you know, it's not as comfortable as it should be where if they just went with like an eight or something like that, you wouldn't have to worry about it as much. Big mud puddle. Sideways through the mud. God, I love this truck. So good. And it's so comfortable and it's so effortless. Yeah, it's big, yeah, it's brutish, but it's also got big brakes, go anywhere tires, a big brash engine, nope. <laughs> and the attitude, and it backs it all up. Um, I know the TRX technically has two more horsepower, but who gives a shit at that point? This is also like 700 pounds lighter than a TRX. So the zero to 60 time on this is like three and a half, 3.6 seconds, which and once you're, anything under four is very quick. And then when you make that statement in a truck that weighs probably north of 6,000 pounds, it's even wilder and more absurd. And it's just crazy, crazy shit. So let's get to the sticking point though, the price. These are six figure trucks. As tested, this is $112,000, $112,000. I think the base price is $100,000 um, or it's ninety, dollars whatever. It's, you're, you're paying hundred grand for these things before markups, like I said. And markups are starting to fade, thankfully, because the dealers are realizing like, oh, maybe, um, Everybody doesn't have money and people are done doing this shit. Um, so we'll see. But $112,000, oh, when you say a $112,000 F-150, the phrase doesn't make sense. When you say a $112,000 Raptor R with 700 horsepower, tremendous suspension travel, uh, great interior comfort, and then you consider it like you know, we, we've looked at supercars and sports cars in a certain way. We have to start evaluating super trucks in a certain way. This is a super truck. This is a super truck in that it has insane power, insane performance. You could take this off the showroom floor and run, uh, you know, from Ensenada to the bottom of Cabo. You could do, you could go to Mike Sky Ranch. You could, you could run the Baja course in this as it sits from the factory with air conditioning and satellite radio going. So it's, it's, you have to, that's why the number is what it is. Oh, big mud pit here with some exposed rocks. That's why these cost what they cost. I mean, it's, and, and I feel like it's worth it. <laughs> it. It's as stupid as that sounds. I feel like it's worth it because People pay what they pay for sports cars and supercars, and this is more useful for, than those, and crazy fun, crazy capable. And there you go, Ford Raptor R, an absolute monster machine. I love it.